Okay, this video we're going to go up through a kind of a subsequent setup of your site after you have uh, set your original control point, that 5,000, 1,000 control point, and then a secondary one. So this kind of goes through what you're required to do in order to perform measurements uh, after, say, shutting down uh, SCS 900. So once you open it up, it brings you right into your open site uh, window, and then that has the project, the site name, and the work order. So those are the ones that we'd set up previously. And then once you hit uh, accept here, it'll bring you right into that rover setup screen. And uh, once you've set it up once, it should, it'll remember all of the particular uh, defaults in there. So that will uh, connect up to the different, uh, the, it'll connect up to the same base, and it just uses the same settings that were configured previously. So assuming nothing has changed, uh, it should just connect right in and uh, hopefully work. Uh, work well uh, and not require any additional button presses and be a little bit quicker than before. Um, one of the processes within this Base Anywhere setup is we need to do what's called a Bench My Rover. Uh, so that involves going to your different kinds of control points and remeasuring them. So after you've uh, started back up in Base Anywhere, it'll actually prompt you to enter right into a, a checking into a control point. So this says it's going to say select uh, your bench measurement point. We're going to click right on the screen at that very first point, the start point. Uh, we're going to head over to that point and we'll put the uh, the rover rod tip right on it. Uh, depending if you have a bipod or not, you'll uh, use that to plumb, uh, plumb up your uh, system here. And then once you're on the on the point, you can just hit measure. So that's going to uh, ask you again uh, just, you know, what, what you want to call it and set your defaults up. And that uh, will cook away for 15 seconds and take a measurement on that point. And so, again, you just have to do this uh, after shutting down your rover or if your base station ends up moving or if that uh, power on the base station gets recycled. So uh, these are pretty good uh, measurements. Uh, you know, we're... Uh, uh, tenth and, and uh, two hundredths, uh, twenty eight hundredths away. And then it's going to say a system check is required for error checking. So we'll hit accept there. And then we've got to travel now to that second point uh, that we set, that second control point. So that was uh, CP1. So we're just going to tap on that. Uh, and then that actually tells you where you have to go in terms of going south or north or whatever. So that helps you locate the point. So I'm just going to head on to that same point that I set during the last exercise, set my uh, rover or my rod tip right on the nail there and uh, level up and we'll do a measurement on that. Again, uh, we can just use all the defaults there, 15 seconds. And then this is uh, just it's a way to quantify any error or help you see if you've got any issues with your setup. Uh, in this instance. So usually that doesn't happen, but you never know, but it is a required system check to get things uh, locked in and going. So here we go. It says that our precision is intolerance. Uh, we're all good with those kinds of things. We're five hundredths, so that's actually pretty good for uh, GNSS here. And so uh, the option, we could either, if we had another uh, control point, we'd be able to check into that. But here we're just going to click Complete Bench My Rover Setup and hit Accept. And uh, it throws up a warning message. So every time the base is moved or power cycled, uh, you do need to perform this uh, exercise. So now uh, everything is all set and we'd be ready to go ahead and start doing whatever we need to do on site, taking measurements, uh, performing a stakeout operation or um, making the surface model or anything like that. So uh, that, that concludes uh, this video. And we'll do in some other videos, we'll get into some other features as well.